Lesson 3.8, Add Decimals. Place value can help us add decimals. We stack the decimal numbers on top of each other with their decimal points lined up in vertical position. Here we're adding 4 and 96 hundredths plus 2 and 35 hundredths. And we start with the farthest right place value, the hundredths place in this case. And we regroup if needed. 6 plus 5 is 11. We regroup the 10 to the tenths place. And we put the 1 down. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We regroup the 1 and put the 3 down. And 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 7. We have 7 and 31 hundredths. We have our decimal points stacked and lined up very nicely to help us keep the place values straight. We can insert trailing zeros to the right of decimals that have fewer digits, or we can just add the digits we see in that place value column. We have 2 and 81 hundredths plus 1 and 5 tenths. We can add a trailing zero here. We took those in video 3.4 that's linked in the description. We line up the decimal points, and 1 plus 0 is 1, 8 plus 5 is 13, we regroup the 1 and put the 3 here, and 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. We have 4 and 31 hundredths. If we decide not to use the trailing 0, just make sure that the decimal points are lined up so you're adding the correct place value digits. The 1 would just drop down, 8 plus 5 is 13, we regroup the 1 and put the 3 down, and 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. We learned to model decimal addition with base 10 blocks, or a quick drawing, in video 3.5, and that's linked in the description. We can make a quick drawing to check our addition. We add 2 and 81 hundredths plus 1 and 5 tenths, and the sum is 4 and 31 hundredths. We can do a quick drawing. We have two whole, so we make two squares. We have 8 tenths, so we make 8 lines for the 8 tenths. We have 1 hundredth. We make a little circle for the hundredth. We have one whole, so we put one square. We have 5 tenths, so we make 5 lines. And we regroup 10 tenths as one whole. We get 1, 2, 3, 4 whole, just like we did here, 3 tenths, just like we have here, and 1 hundredth, just like we have here. We could also use subtraction, the inverse of addition, to check our work. We would take the difference and add the subtrahen, and if it equals the minuend, we know we did it correctly. We're going to talk about decimal subtraction in our next video. We add decimals just as we would add whole numbers, except we must line up the decimal points to make sure we're adding the correct place values to each other. If we're adding 152 plus 76, we start in the ones place, the least place value. That's 8. 5 plus 7 is 12. We regroup the 1 and put the 2 down, and 1 plus 1 is 2. We have 228. If we're adding 1 and 52 hundredths plus 76 hundredths, we're going to get 2 and 28 hundredths. The only difference is we have decimal points here all lined up. We start by adding the column with the least place value, and we regroup when the amount is greater than 9. In video 3.4, we learn to round decimals. In video 3.7, we learn to use rounded decimals to estimate decimal sums and differences. We can estimate the sum, then add decimals for the actual sum. We can use the estimation to know if our actual sum is reasonable. We need to add 3 and 92 hundredths and 1 and 13 hundredths. The 9 tells the 3 to round up to a 4. This 1 tells that 1 to stay the same. We have 4 plus 1, that's 5. When we do the actual addition, we start with the least place value. 2 plus 3 is 5, 9 plus 1 is 10, we regroup the 1 and put the 0 down, and 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5, we get 5 and 5 hundredths. It's very close to our estimate of 5, so yes, it makes sense. 
it's a reasonable answer. If we don't line up the decimal points, we may add the wrong place values together. This is given in sentence form 2 and 54 hundredths plus 1 tenth plus 14. We may think we need to line up all the last digits like this, and we would get the wrong sum. We need to line up the decimal points, 2 and 54 hundredths, then the 0 would go underneath the 2, because the decimal point is here, and then we would have our 1 tenth, and this is 14 whole, so it's going to be on the left side of the decimal point. And we can put a decimal point to the right of the whole number, and we can put trailing zeros like here, so that we have the same amount of digits in each addend. We would get 16 and 64 hundredths. This is the wrong answer. In video 3.2, we learned to read and write decimals in standard form, expanded form, and word form. We can write these words as an equation and find the sum. We have 7 and 8 tenths added to 2 and 8 hundredths. Remember, and is a decimal point. So we have 7, that's 7 whole ones, and we have our decimal point, 8 tenths. It's added to, so we have a plus sign, 2, that's 2 whole, and, that's our decimal point, 8 hundredths, so we need a 0 as a placeholder to put the 8 in the hundredths place. And we can insert a trailing 0 next to this 8 in the hundredths place, so we have the same amount of digits in each addend. 0 plus 8 is 8, 8 plus 0 is 8, 7 plus 2 is 9, we have 9 and 88 hundredths. When an equation is given in sentence form, we can stack them into vertical form on scratch paper to add them. We have 19 and 64 hundredths plus 13 and 98 hundredths. We stack them on scratch paper with the decimal points lined up, and we get 33 and 62 hundredths. Remember to use trailing zeros if needed and to line up the decimal points. Here we have 3 and 6 tenths plus 11 and 21 hundredths plus 5, and that would be 5 whole. We put trailing zeros with the decimal points all lined up, and 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 3 plus 1 plus 5 is 9, and we drop down the 110, we have 19 and 81 hundredths. We need to add these decimals. We have 3 and 42 hundredths, 7 tenths, and 185 thousandths. I inserted trailing zeros, so each decimal had the same amount of digits. We start in the thousandths place because of this one. 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus 0 plus 8 is 10. We regroup the 1 and put the 0 down. 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 1 is 13. We regroup the 1 and put the 3 down. And 1 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. We have them all lined up all the decimal points, so we keep the place values in the correct position. Our sum is 4 and 305 thousandths. Emma spent $49.95 for a new coat, $38.49 for a pair of boots, and $12.99 for a pair of mittens. How much did Emma spend? We can stack up the dollar amounts with the decimal points lined up. We can start by estimating. The 9 tells the 4 to round up to a 5. We estimate that and round it as $50. The 8 tells the 3 to go up to a 4, so that rounds to $40. The 2 tells the 1 to stay the same, so we can round that to $10. We add it up, and our estimate is $100. For the actual sum, we start here with the cents. 5 plus 9 plus 9 is 23. We regroup the 2 and put the 3 down. For this column, I can see 9 plus 9, that's 18. We can add the double. 
19, 20, plus 4 more would be 24. We regroup the 2 and put the 4 down. Now we put our decimal point. Now we add the 1's column. I see an 8 plus 2, that makes a 10, plus 9 more, that's 19, 20, 21. We regroup the 2, put the 1 down. Now we add the 10's place. 2 plus 4 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a 1 in the 100's place and a 0 in the 10's place. Our estimate was $100. And the actual sum is $101.43. Remember to use a dollar sign because we're adding money amounts. Central New York received 68 and 63 hundredths inches of rainfall in 2017, 46 and 78 hundredths inches in 2018, and 59 and 17 hundredths inches in 2019. What was the total rainfall for these years? We start by stacking the numbers with the decimals lined up. We can estimate the 8 here is going to become a 9. We're estimating to the nearest 1's place, so that's this column. The 6 tells the 8 to go up to a 9, so it rounds to 69. The 7 tells the 6 to go up, so it rounds to a 47. And the 1 tells this 9 to stay the same, so it rounds to 59. We add them, and we get an estimate of 175 inches. Now, we could have rounded it to the nearest 10, but I wanted to show you rounding to the nearest 1 for this example. We start by adding the hundredths place. I see the compatible numbers 7 and 3 makes a 10, plus 8 more is 18. I regroup the 1 and put the 8 down. Now we need to do the tenths place. 6 plus 1 is 7. We have a doubles. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. We regroup the 1 and put the 5 down. Now it's time to add the 1's place. I see the compatible numbers 9 and 1. That makes a 10. And 8 and 6 makes 14. That makes 24, we regroup the 2 and put the 4 down. Now we add the tens place. I see the compatible numbers 6 plus 4, that makes a 10, plus 2 plus 5 is 17. We have 174 and 58 hundredths. Our estimate was 175. They're very close, so they're reasonable. This is a reasonable sum. And remember, we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. When we're adding decimals, that way we can have our place values in the correct column stacked up nice, even with subtraction of decimals. So just remember to line up your decimal points, and we're going to add them just as we would add whole numbers. Our next lesson, 3.9, we're going to be subtracting decimals using place value. I hope I'll see you there, and have a great day. Bye.